Does any of you remember Life is Feudal? Now that was a game that came out a while ago under the name Life is Feudal Your Own. It was an open world hardcore survival game that you played with friends or on your own, or granted playing on your own was pretty much impossible at that point, but the gist of it was how hardcore and detailed the world was. Doing things like growing trees took days and days to do, building things took weeks to do. This was a very hardcore survival. Then it eventually became the Life is Feudal MMO, which granted is doing a little bit better, but they both didn't quite hit the home that they wanted to. They both don't quite have the player base. Could this be something of a twist on that game, that genre, but be bringing in more people? Well, I think it's time to decide for ourselves. This is a new game, a new medieval slash fantasy MMO. This is New World. Enter a lost chapter in history in a sandbox MMO that begins with the discovery of a new world. Carve your destiny alongside hundreds of players in a savage and arcane 17th century world. Survive murderous player bandits, band together to build fortified strongholds, or strike out to claim a piece of the haunted frontier. Yes, this is New World. Like I said, it is fantasy as well. So, I'm saying it has a lot of similarities to Life's Feud of Your Own from what we can see. You could probably tell by some of the, the, the screenshots and everything there. But it has its own game here. It is very much focused on the survival aspect of it, but also adding in supernatural things. Such as, yes, there's some magic in there. There's some supernatural beasts in there that you'll have to fight and battle against. But I feel like it's not going completely out of the blue and completely wacky to the point where it gets a little bit annoying. I think this has a lot of potential. Okay, so what is this game? Well, like I said, set in the 17th century. There's things like bandits that you'll have to survive against. These will probably be AI, but there will also be players as well that will choose to be bandits, that will raid your camps, that will murder you, that will hold you up, all those sort of stuff. I expect this is going to be a game that is heavily focused on the roleplay element as well, like a lot of MMOs are. You'll have to work together to build strongholds, so yes, there will be building in this, you'll be able to build forts, probably villages start with then forts, and then maybe castles and strongholds, and trying to go up and get the best defences possible, but they will not be the only castles and strongholds on the map. There will also be other teams and other players that are banded together that have also built their own thing. So think of a mix of a persistent world or a life is feudal with a few more players and a bit of the Witcher sort of things in there as well in terms of the fantasy elements. Where you'll have factions fighting against each other but in their downtime they have to get wood, they've got to get ore, they've got to craft, they've got to smelt things, they've got to build things but then you'll go to war and you'll fight for new territories. Now there's this thing called the Haunted Frontier, I'm not 100% sure if this just means the map on its own or there's a specific thing called the haunted frontier since this is having supernatural elements now like i said there will be magic in this game i don't know what extent this will go to to whether it's full-on spells or just be like potions and things like that and of course there will be horror elements as well this is not going to be your sit down and relax type of game of course when you're building when you're farming when you're doing all that sort of stuff with your clan it's going to be a bit more relaxed but when you decide to venture out into the unknown unless you're with a big group of people it's going to, going to be very vulnerable to attack not just from bandits but as we'll find out from the wilderness as well now this world is extremely hostile this is not your typical survival game where it's just normal world where yeah there are dangers but no more than there would be in real life such as starvation such as hunger such as like the odd bad person that you come across this is a hostile world it's filled with mystery vast fortune and supernatural forces now the fact that it says vast fortune here makes me wonder if there's more quest line things and missions that you can do because it's more of an mmo whether it's an open world free roam do what you want mmo or the free room do what you want but there's also side quests and things or like dungeons that you can do with people i'm not quite sure that they're going to be going that way but that's always an option you can craft of course it wouldn't be an open world survival game without a little bit of crafting there'll be weapons armors magical things and of course your massive fortifications to keep you safe now i didn't mention that not only will there be raiders and the brutal wilderness but there's something called the gathering evil. I did mention not only will there be other players and bandits to be worried about, but there will also be the wilderness. The wilderness will always be against you. And in this screenshot, I think it puts it out perfectly. Massive, massive bears. And I expect there'll be things like wolves in as well. But 
it says and it really accents on the fact that the wilderness and the gathering evil in the brutal wilderness and it also says like a hostile world this could mean that there's things other than just animals that will be against you in this world in the wilderness it's just haunted places spells and things cast curses and all that sort of stuff it's something that can be delved very deep into but my only worry is a lot of people especially on this channel and me as well and a lot of people in this genre do love these open world sort of craft your own things set in medieval times and all that good stuff but when you're adding things in like supernatural forces and some more magical elements it needs to be very contained and very well done and grounded to the fact that it doesn't feel too wacky and out of the world if that's a wacky and out of the world game you're going for that's fine but make sure if you're trying to do a bit of realism in there either do realism with a bit of wacky and supernatural stuff and quite grounded stuff or go full on out this world just trying to bridge in between sort of gets a little bit messy when you're not sure if you want to be a, a realistic survival game or you want to be a really spell casty easy sort of play with your mates sort of survival game so we'll have to find out what they do with that but yes, you can play on your own or you can join forces with other players. You can join forces with people that have their own skills and classes. So there's going to be leveling up systems like craftsmen, mercenaries, prospectors, architects. You're going to have to find the right people for the right jobs. And you're going to have to work together because of course, because an architect isn't going to be a great warrior or a mercenary isn't going to be a great craftsman. You're going to have to balance this out to the point where you have a very balanced and fair rounded team. And of course, you'll have to claim your territories with these people, leverage your dominion to consolate power and compel loyalty. There's going to be a lot of battles in this, there's going to be a lot of fighting, there's going to be a lot of building, crafting, spell making, a lot of hostile world environment gameplay with lots of animals firing at you, maybe even the world itself pushing against you all the time. But I'm very excited and I think there's going to be a lot of details and things that we'll be able to pick out of this at a later date with more information, but I can't wait to see more stuff and I can't wait to play it. You can actually go and sign up for the alpha now if you go onto newworld.com, I think there'll be a link in the description. Maybe the alpha sign ups are full, but go and check out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. This, of course, wasn't a sponsored video. I don't know why I had to say that, but some people always think that these videos are sponsored. I just thought this game was interesting, and I know you guys like it when I bring you new games because they get good views, they get good likes, they get good responses, which means it's a positive thing for you guys as well. So thank you for watching, and until then, I will see you in the next one.